what yep. would you say to people who are stifled by fear? Yeah. You know, so much of it these days comes because we are sharing our lives like a peer reviewed journal, right? Yeah. Like we show up online, we want the clapping and the hearts and the likes and the comments. And in that we've created this environment that don't allow or invite people to show up at a starting line to say, I have mm. no idea what I'm doing, but I'm going to do it anyways. Yes. And so it's like, we are this culture that is so obsessed with the before and after photos that we miss the middle where all the work actually happens. And I want to invite people to step into that middle for so many reasons. And I outlined them in the book, but one of the greatest reasons that I want people to step into that messy middle, that imperfect action is because that is truly the most inspiring way that you can show up. When you show people, I don't know what the next step is, but I'm going to inch my way forward. You invite people to do the same thing, whatever that looks like in their life. And so the biggest thing I can encourage people in the last minute of time we have is that you have to start proving to yourself and building up your own self-belief. Even if you inch closer to your goal, even if it's the most tiny improvement that nobody could see, that nobody would like online, you know it. And when you know it, your confidence grows. When your confidence grows, you show up differently. When you show up differently, things start to happen. And so start to build up that belief in really small ways, in ways that you can fulfill so that you don't stay sitting on the sidelines any longer.